YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Endless Ocean. Oh yeah. This is I think early morning still. I don't know what the sun is in the sky. Actually I think we can check it if we go onto the chair over here I think. Oh, we never did this. About the deck chair. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ocean view from the deck of your boat. Nice. Let's sit down and see. Where's the sun at? I can't even see the sun. Well, that's great. I don't know where the sun is exactly, but I think it's up in the sky, either going down or going up. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. We are back to another episode of this game, and we are still heading towards G5. Wait. Hold on. Um, there is supposed to be an X on the map. Why is there no X on the map? Did I miss it again? Did I miss spawning? G5. To the north of the area G5. I was sure I did see an X before. Maybe not. Maybe not. It has been a while since I played this game anyways. Well, anyways, I think we're going to move the boat to Rockland, because last episode, that's where we got. Uh, that's how far we have traveled. I think I'm going to put it, like, right in the middle of this, if I can. No, that's the closest I can do. Whatever. Let's put it there. And the boat goes. And I think we'll die before it gets too late in the night. Let me just check if these penguins have been checked all the three times. How about you? Oh, you have been two times. This is your third time. Okay, good for him. And now the Gentoos. You have been one. Okay, this is your second. Okay. And next up... Oh, that's all, that's all of them. Okay, let's dive before it gets too late. Dive with Espoir. Yeah, it's surely getting nighttime. Yep, the water is uh, green hue. And that's usually what happens when it gets close to night. And we can't dive at night yet. We're going to be, we're going to be able to sometime, but not yet. Alright, we are in the middle of Rockland. Rock Bluff, Rockland, whatever. Depends on the version of the game that you're playing. If you're playing the Euro European version, and oh my gosh... Look at that, right off the bat. What is this guy? Oh, this is a hammerhead. I'm stupid, I'm just like, oh yeah, it's like I know nothing about the sea animals all of a sudden. What is this? Oh, it's a hammerhead shark, I'm so surprised. No, actually I knew that was a hammerhead shark as soon as I saw it. I don't know why I play the idiot. Oh, dolphin's calling. Where are you, dolphin? Where is the dolphin? I think it went too far. Great, I don't know where the dolphin went. But usually when the dolphin screams like that, it indicates to me that there's a glow nearby. So, let's check out a whole bunch of coral here. To see if we can find any glows. I'm pretty sure all of these fish have already been three times visited. Uh, oh yeah, the gobbies. This is the spirit den. Last episode we came here. And we discover that this is the most popular place for gobbies. Oh, that is a two. Oh, I'm gonna put you a three. Moorish idol. You're a three now. And are you a three? You're a two, two. You're gonna be a three today. It's your lucky day, yellow tang. There we go. You're a three, two. Um, what else? You guys. You're a three, I knew it. And I think all of these will be three. Maybe not these guys here. These two fish. Uh, the teardrop, butterfly fish. You're a two, but you are three. Just the usual thing we do every single dive. We're trying to find all the fish that we can put out three. Okay, you're a three. I'm pretty sure by now all the coral fish should be three times visited, but I might still have a couple left. Okay, let's take the gobbies over here. Ah, I knew it. Right off the bat, one zoom, 
And this is Oblong Gobi. And now he's at two. And that's the only Gobi in that glow. All right. Uh, another glow right here. <clears throat> There's always like two or three glows every single die that come here. Oh, two types of gobbies here. Yeah, these two are really often found together. I have no idea why this area, like the Den of Spirits, is like always full of gobbies. I don't know why, because when I look into the areas where I can found, can be seen in branch coral in all areas of Manorai all year round. Except I never found these except here. So I don't know why that is. Is there another one? I think that's another one. Ah! Five lined coral goby, the last type. And he's behind my thing, so I can't click it. Come on. Come out of there. He's hidden. There we go. Now I can probably pet him. There we go. And that's now uh, two times visits for all of them. Okay, let's continue to explore towards G5 now. Oh, the boars, parrotfish. These are not going to be threes. No, they're ones. There we go. And the water here is beginning to be quite deep. If I look into my depth, we're 25 meters underwater. That's about 30. 30 meters underwater. Just imagine this. An average adult would be a little bit less than 2 meters high. I think like 1.7-ish for like the size of a, of an adult, uh, a male adult, an average would be like 1.7 meters high. So imagine that times 15. So 15, you could stack 15. Oh wait, did I already do this? Yeah, I already did them at 3. Okay. Uh, I tend to find those fish, the sailfish, uh, oh, a glow. Oh wait, is that on the... Oh wait, is that on the branch coral? I think that's on the branch coral. That's great. We have a chance of... Yes! Yes! One of these rare fish. That's a bicolor blenny. And they don't like being pet. Oh, there we go. Bacalar Blenny. Those are super extremely rare. Can be seen in the coral in all areas of Manorai all year round. I almost never find these. That's why I want to look at the brain corals like this. Because those are the main type of coral that you can find those blennies into. And before I focus up to that zoom, I did see, I think, an angelfish. One of these guys. Not an angelfish. In French, it's called them. Um, Angelo. So I was translating it. There we go. Guitar fish, not angel fish. Let's pet this guy. And now he's at two visits. There we go. Uh, all right. Where are we on the map? Let's check. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're even going in the wrong direction. That's great. We need to go this way and head towards. Oh, that's my dolphin. Hey, dolphin. Espoir. Hey, look over here. Oh, wait, let's try to whistle. The whistle, this thing. Oh, uh, the fish love it. Hello, come here. I think he heard. Hey. It took so long for me to train my dolphins in my previous save game to listen to this. Ah, there we go. But the main dolphin I had in my other save game now almost listens to me every single time. Oh, he found something. Zoom point. Uh, let's focus on this. I always forget the controls. Oh, these guys are new. Well, oh, I grabbed them. Whoops! Don't put yourself to your hole. Oh yeah, I remember. These like being um, fed. Let's get the food out. Eat. There we go. Spotted garden eel. And this guy is also, I think it's this black garden eel. Eat you too. Come on. There we go. Black garden eel. There we go. And those can be found in the sand in all areas of Manorai. As you can see, there are so many fish in this game. 
It's crazy. Um, I think they're like 300 at maximum, or maybe like 200. In the third game, I know there's more. Uh, no, the third game, the second game, I mean. Okay, we're going in the right direction-ish. I think we're gonna have to loop around this way. Just like so. And go around over in this trench. It's so peaceful to dive around this area. The Hammerhead! Hello, Hammerhead! Ah, well, Hammerhead. You can even find Great White in the Rock Bluff, uh, slash Rock, uh, Rock Land, there we go, area. Only in the winter and fall, I think. Not in this season, but for, in this season you can find the Hammerheads all the time. Aha! Japanese Bullhead Shark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are what these fish are. Japanese bullhead shark. And I think the zoom points for these guys should be near the rock. So, like, around here. If I didn't miss the spawning for the second time... I really hope I didn't miss the spawning in my two games. Well, we can always wait for the next year, but that's going to be a painful lot of a time. Um, where would the north of G5? Let's see my map. Are we north of G5? Yeah, we are north of G5. Do we need to, like, go in a certain area? I am pretty sure we miss a spawning. Oh, maybe not. Yes! Yes, I didn't miss it this time. What you see, there are Japanese bullhead shark eggs. Around January, each year, you can see their healthy young. G... P JP? What? I don't know what that is. Bullhead shark. Oh, Japanese bullhead shark. There we go. Egg. And... All the information is the same for the egg. Can we pet the egg? Incredible. We can pet the fish, throw the egg, try that in real life near these sharkies. Um, I'm sure that would work. Well, we finally got the spawning found in the G5 area, as Catherine said previously. And we are getting out of range of the boat. Wait. Oh! Hi! Okay. There's, yeah, there's a whale above you, person. Look up! That's, um... Oh, I forgot the name of the type of whale. It's, um... Uh, in French it's called Barena Bus. Humpback whale. There we go. Yes. That's a humpback whale. This region of Manurai has exceptionally deep water. And is part of the species migration route. No! I can't click the... Wait. I'm out of the boat range! Look, I'm, I didn't know. Interesting, I glitched out of the boat range. Cause probably because the game needed to teleport me here. Huh, okay. Well, can I go in any direction? No, I can't go further. But I can stay out of the boat range. I can go down, I think. I can't go down! Look at that! I'm frozen! I'm literally frozen on place. This glitched out. I never had this before. I can't move. Not that way. Oh, there we go. I can go down. Ah, I need to go down and towards the thing. 
There we go. And I'm still out of the boat range. Okay, let's go back in and let's like get out of this glitched area. Oh no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move anywhere. Look, I can't, I can't do anything. What? What is going on? I think I'll have to go back up to the boat. I can't do anything. I'm like stuck here. Look, I'll swim this way. Watch me. Oh yeah, this is working. My fins are going. I do not get it. I think I am stuck in the hitch box of this cliff. And since the game won't let me go in the other direction because that's going to be away from the diving circle, it just keeps me stuck here. Because the game wants me to go back in the diving circle, but I can't because I'm like stuck in a nook of the cliff. Yeah, I'm, I really can't do anything. I really wanted to see that whale too. Well, I guess I'll have to wait. We have to go back to the boat. Can't do anything else, so... That's lame. That's a really weird way of ending our diving session. <laughs> I did not expect that, but that was a whole lot of map that we just uncovered right there. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go back to the boat. Let's see if Catherine has a new mission for us. Oh, and it's night time. Do you have a moment? I have some good news. The diving equipment from Mr. Tolman has just arrived. It's an underwater light that will allow you to dive at night. It took the liberty of a chat of attaching it to your jacket. Now you can dive even after the sun goes down. Hooray! Night diving has been enabled, so now we can go dive whenever we want, if it's nighttime, daytime, and we can see the certain fish that only spawn in nighttime, so that is pretty good. You'll find that the type of fish differ from night to day. It also offers a nice change of scenery too. Cool, cool, that was pretty- oh, I saw a fish on the boat. Uh, that was a penguin, I mean, not a fish. Well, even though diving at night would be pretty cool, I think I want to see the areas of Manurai at day first. Especially because they're going to be seeing cutscenes. I think it would be cooler to see them in the day. What is that? Oh, an African penguin young? I don't think I ever saw this. Of all my time playing, I don't think I ever got one of those on the boat. Interesting. Um, and now this is Rock Hopper. That is two out of three. I'm gonna put you to three. There we go. And the Gentoos. Eh, let me focus on those. In real life, penguins wouldn't be even able to be. What? That didn't work. Oh, because the same day. The day didn't end. I already did them today. Even though it was another dive. Well, that's lame. But as I was saying, in real life, it wouldn't be possible for penguins to be found in an area like this. In a sea like Manurai. Because the climate of this is like tropical. You could not find penguins in this area. They would not be able to live. But this is a game, so they can be creative. I think I'm going to skip to daytime, even though... Actually, should I do a night at night time? I think we'll finish the episode with that. I think I'm gonna do a really quick dive at night time, but we won't do a dive in the Rockland area because that's just all new stuff here. I think we're gonna go back to one of the previously known areas around here. I think that would be a good place to dive because I know in the lagoon and coral forest there are some nighttime specific fish, especially in the lagoon, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go see that. I'm pretty excited to see what we'll find. 
But I still want to go see that whale again sometime. Corkscrew. Oh, the music changes. Aha, uh -huh, you can see right there, that's already one type of fish that can only be found at night in the lagoon area. These turtles. This is, I think, common sea turtle. Green sea turtle, there we go. And these, the logic of these being found here, it's like if they go lay their eggs at the beach at night. So they go, I think that's what the game is trying to uh, imply anyways. That's why they're going towards the beach, because they're trying to uh, go to the beach to lay their eggs. I wonder where they'll go if I just follow them and see. Huh, well, we'll keep an eye on them, but there are more things to see here, especially like the sunfish over here. This is an abyssal fish. You can find it usually in depths of up to 1,000 meters underwater, and it prefers depths because it's hunting jellyfish in the ocean abyss. But rarely, at certain seasons in real life, th this fish will dive upwards and go to coral reefs to be cleaned up by cleaning fish. Cleaning Ross. And that is what this is. Oh, it also goes up at nighttime in certain seasons, I think. So, I don't know for that, but I already saw on uh, educational shows about the sea in the past uh, on the television that these fish go up in coral reefs to be cleaned at certain times and they go back down to the depths. So that is pretty cool that we find that there. And this is also another fish. I think this is a seasonal fish. This is the long tooth grouper. And this fish can be found in the knives, knives Reef during the spring. We didn't find Knives Reef yet. <laughs> so I find it funny that it tells us a place that we didn't even discover. And the ocean sunfish, let's see where we can find this. Can be seen during the winter around the Murridge Atoll area. Also another area that we didn't really find yet, even though I know exactly what that area is. Uh, what is this? Stark Mozel. The, the, I didn't even do three with these? Oh my gosh, it's time for me to do that. There we go. Uh, I wanted to sh see something. Oh yeah, wait, is that the... What is that? Uh, the, like, redfish. The... Oh, that, okay, that's just a coral. A coral fish. Nothing special there. But this fish, the long-toothed grouper, I have something special about this fish that is one easter egg of the game that hasn't been found for years. And I found it myself before knowing that other people found it um, before me, but I found it pretty cool. Look at this. See that? Did you see that? It just appeared. There are cleaning rods that appear on the fish to clean it every time it goes around this. But the cleaning rods are not actually fish in this game. They're just like graphical. You can't click them, you can't you can't pat them, you can't feed them, you can't interact with them. They're not in your encyclopedia, and they don't really count as a fish. It's the only fish in the game, I think, that does so. It, does, it's, it counts like a fish in the way you see it, but it's not actually a fish in the game's code. Uh, let's see this. Oh yeah, there was this zoom here, this glow that I think is a treasure, that we saw this in an earlier dive in the lagoon in the day, but we couldn't focus on it because this was out of our circle, of our diving circle. But when now we can. Let's see what's in this zoom. Oh, I remember this. Oh wait, I wanted to pad it. New item! Compass piece. Compass piece. There we go. Not compass. Uh, sorry, French mistake there. But compass piece, that is, another, that is one of the treasures that we'll have to add to our... To our... Um, coffin or chest of treasures and let's check these corals to see if we can find the mandarin fish uh does it show a night i don't know if it shows a night but that would be a uh, fish that i would like to do the second visit on it mm, nothing and i don't think we're gonna find it in this dive surprisingly yep 
No mandarin fish to be found. What the heck was that? Was that my dolphin? I just saw something very big. No, that was a turtle. Cool, cool. The thing I don't understand with the turtles, though, is that they wouldn't be able to go on the beach here, I don't think. Because... If I go up, you'll see. Look! There are cliffs all around. How are they going to go on the sandy beaches this way? I don't think they're going to be able to lay their eggs in that area. So I don't know why they are here. But yeah, this is pretty cool that we're able to night to dive at nighttime. I haven't even said anything about this. Look at... Oh, oh, this might be the mandarin fish. Ah, I knew it. Mandarin fish. Second visit for you. There we go. It looks like you can't... What are you doing? It's like trying to attach the coral, but can. It's just spinning in circles. That's so derpy. I never saw it do this. Does it only do this at night? What the heck is it doing? Yeah, it won't stop. I don't know why. what happened to that mandarin fish. Anyways, let's continue out of the lagoon into the coral forest area. I think we might have enough time that we can go try to explore the area that has not been um, mapped. And then I think we'll have to end our dive and end this episode because it's getting a little bit long. I want that one. That is... I forgot the name of it again in English. Dang it! What is this? Humphead Ross! There we go. And... Oh, I already did this three times? I already did that three times. I didn't even realize. I'll get used to it eventually. I'll, I'll know which fish I did three times and which I didn't do three times. So we won't have to check all of them all the time, every single dive. Okay. We are getting into the unmapped area. Can we do all of this in a single dive? Let's see. Now we're going to the right direction. I think we're gonna have to head a little bit this way. And just like so. All right, and around here, I think, yep, we're going the right direction. And let's just peacefully dive around this. Continue to map out. Oh, hello. That's a big one. That's a group of fish. I don't think I ever saw these. Nope, I didn't. These are predators, I'm pretty sure. Big eyed Trevally. These fish can be found all around Manorai all year round. Maybe they were here the whole time. I just never noticed. I don't remember having seen them though. Uh where how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. I think I'm just gonna do the last two spots this direction and then we're gonna head back to the boat around here and I think that should be good for this dive let's head back to the boat and let's close this episode we did quite a bit of progress I'm happy about it we mapped out some new areas we found a whale but we glitched out too much and we couldn't check it out Well, I, that was a little bit less mapped out area than I thought I did. I, th I thought I did uh, the other two. Well, that's still good anyways. We almost did all of that corner. Mapped out. And Ka no message, no thing from Catherine. I'm surprised. She usually has something to talk to me all the time about something. Well, I think we're going to have to end this episode of Endless Ocean. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope I provided you with some enjoyment for today. A smile on your face, a laugh, a chuckle, something, something good, a smile. Because if I did, I'm happy. That's all I'm trying to do with this. But anyways, that will be it for this one. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Maître des blocs.